What's going on, guys? Cruising Podcast. We're here today with a little quick bonus episode. We're going to be talking about No Time to Die, the last entry to Daniel Craig's Bond movies. This is his fifth movie. We did see it over the weekend. We saw it on Friday. It was a, it was a packed theater. It was a lot of people, which surprisingly, because, you know, it's nice to see a lot of people coming to the theater and getting that theater experience again, uh, yeah, it's, since it's, some movies haven't been movie doing too, too well. It's also a big movie. Yeah, it's a big movie. And it's, I mean, it's Daniel Craig's last movie. I mean, to put it into perspective, when the Casino Royale came out, that was in 2006. I was in elementary school. I'm 25 now. So, th- like, that's just so many years. Man. Yeah, he's, yeah, that's crazy. As a character, that's... 15 years as a, you know playing this character so that you know there was that video of him you know kind of giving his farewell and thanking the crew and you know saying that it was like one of the greatest things he's got gotten to do a lot of people here worked on five pictures with me and i know there's a lot of things said about what i think about these films and all of those whatever but i've loved every single second of these movies and especially this one because i've got up every morning and i've had the chance to work um, with you guys, and that has been one of the greatest honors of my life. So, yeah, because again, because what happened? What uh, I think it was after Spectre. Yeah. Uh, when he was talking about Spectre, that he read, like, was it they said that he read, slit his own wrist? Yeah, then, then do another do, Bond film. But he was just off. He, I, uh, I think he was just frustrated because I think because I think he hurt his knee. Yeah, he and, just and came off those injuries, and that, that just came oh, out of like did, you know. Didn't he? Didn't he Injure himself in this one too? And no I don't think so. This one I don't think oh, so. Oh no, I think it was Inspector when he messed up his ankle. Yeah, Spectre was the one that he was really getting hurt a lot. Um, so I get it. He that was came out of a place of frustration. But I thought that was really nice what he said. He was like, you know, he was saying it was one of the best things that he's ever done in his career. And I think it, they closed that out. Um, That's weird. Uh, very nicely, I think the the ending because it, it is it is his last movie. So that's you know l- let's just get into it a lot of people are not liking it some people are not liking it some people are loving six it six times okay i found one some people are liking it some people are not um i feel like the movie does take a different approach from what we're used to in these daniel craig movies um in the sense of i think where they take it how they end it and also i really do like how you can feel it's the last one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, uh, Daniel Craig, is, it, I feel like he has a lot of fun in this. There's a lot of like self-awareness, uh, self like not self-awareness references to the previous Bond films. A lot of those one-liners, a lot of little things to just have fun with it, really just have them go all out. Uh, there's some really good action set pieces in this as well. Um, th- with, with this one, I'll try to watch it in IMAX for sure. Yeah, there was film. there was great IMAX sequences. Uh, Daniel Craig he does really well. This is a more vulnerable Bond. Like throughout the movies, we've always seen him. It's really personal. But you get to see his character really kind of go through this character arc by the end of this, which is nice because if it's the last one, you want to see his character grow, just like any other character. You know, you don't want Tony Stark and I- as Iron Man being the same person every movie. You want to see him be, you know, yeah, have this and, overarching. And, and I uh, think that's like the issue that some people are having, because again, because people are so used to, like, to the Sean Connery one or the Roger Moore, or yeah, where it's just like the classic Bond. Yeah, but, but his movies like Casino, Skyfall, Quantum of Solace, you don't really count because that was during the whole like writer strike, so that movie's kind of like a mess. Yeah, I'm always a mess. Uh, Inspector, like those are like well, Skyfall was actually a very personal film. Yeah, it was more backstory on Bond and stuff like the that. The whole yeah, Daniel Craig's Bond is very different, like the way they approached it. But they're really good, and I I do like with this one they, you know, they just had fun with it. It felt like a good closeout, and it's it's it is crazy. It's very you know, like emotional. The movie's very emotional because I mean. You know, we really get to see him close out this character. That's it. Like, he's done. So, you know, I, I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Is it is it a little long? I do think it's a little long. I, I didn't feel It long. is weird because the plot is about a virus, this, like, virus that's contagious as to use it as warfare. And, like, and then it got postponed by a virus that, you know, that was really deadly. And, like, it was, like, all these things. And it's like, oh, my God, that's so weird. Like, what yeah. a coincidence. But the it's it's a little long uh but you know it it's like it does have the highest stakes i think of all of them like this one goes really like you know this is like yeah, the classic because, 
the world is gonna you know yeah, end this is more story golden, yeah the whole world yeah which is cool you know because the other ones weren't really like like that the, the other ones or, or maybe specter was specter i'm sure specter yeah specter was pretty like a but it was it was nice to see you know and just kind of daniel craig going all out his last one Some good a little scenes. long but you know i gotta say i did like um Anna de Armas, if I, that's how you say her name, Pal- in the Cuba Paloma? sequence. Paloma? She plays Paloma. Paloma. Uh, again, she's very little in this movie, but she's great in it. I wish we got more of her. Yeah, she like, she stole that whole scene. Like, yeah, yeah, it. that whole sequence in, in the Cuba stuff. Like, that was really cool. She really did great. So that was nice that we got oh, to yeah, see I her was reading in it. Up, you know, she almost wasn't in the movie. I, I bet. Yeah. yeah. It was something like, it's something like we're editing. They almost, they almost like, cut out the whole sequence, probably. Yeah, I had a like feeling, because that. that sequence you could just take out. But if you wanted to, it. they kept it, which I think it works. Yeah, like, like she didn't have like like a, like a lot of time to re- like rehearse. Yeah, in like a, like a week or two, I think something like that. That's crazy, and you know she did great. Her character was cool. Uh, it was nice seeing everybody back. You get to see a lot of old characters back, and again, they just really had fun with it. I think the soundtrack was great. Hans Zimmer, Hans Zimmer. did some of the soundtrack, like the part uh, the in the intro when the guy's shooting at the window. Yeah. Like Pierce, huh? that, that's like a really well done scene. That was like, cool. Yeah, I, just good, good action set pieces, you know. And it, the only, the what would be the only things? I mean, a little long. I wish Remy Malik is great, but he's not. Like he's very, his yeah, the, role the, the is very movie, small. The movie's more about the virus than him. Kind of. Yeah, like he, he, he's he, just there. He was kind of a generic villain, which sucks because every time we saw him. Especially in the trailers, he had this presence that you're like, oh man, this is gonna be a yeah, good he, villain. He, like even the, the intro, he's like, like in three, four scenes. Like he's in the middle, uh, and then like the ending, he no, shows no, up he's more. In the beginning, beginning, middle, Wh- which which was a good scene. Yeah, the beginning, he, middle, and then the end, end. And I I was a little disappointed by that because Remy Malik is great. It's just they didn't use him all the way. You know, I feel like he was. But the thing is, his character. Uh, but there was so much on. There was so much going on with the movie already that that's why I, I get why they couldn't. But I, I almost wish they could have cut also, down the other and also stuff. You couldn't really do like an action scene with him. No, not because necessarily. because like because the way his villain was, you know how like like I don't know the way his character. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they would have really. But I mean, because in the in the sense of I wish he had that presence in the sense of like a Javier Bardem in Skyfall. You know, because Remy Malik had that potential to be that as good as that I think because he was great yeah, but, but they just couldn't the, the there was too much going on with the story that it was just like okay let's throw him in there because we need like he was just kind of like that generic villain it's not that he did bad because I think he did great I think they just didn't use him all the way which is a shame because he's really good Remy Malik yeah, yeah, is yeah, awesome um, but the scenes that he is in it are good I just wish we had more of him because he, he was great you know I really do uh, I really like him as the this villain this was more like like very um gritty like Bond's just fucking killing people. Like he's just like going all yeah, in. Yeah, licensed to kill. And, you know, there's a, a a sequence in the staircase, you know, towards the end. That was great. There's a lot of good stuff in the here. missed one, like in, the, in that forest. Uh, yeah. But what else? Uh, the ending was uh, very interesting. Uh, I, I wasn't a, like, it was... It's I, I liked it. I liked it. You know, it's something that I think I, I appreciate what Sony uh, was, was trying to do there. You know, um, I like it. Some people didn't. But I liked it. I, I really enjoyed it. I was it threw me off. It threw me off, at least. You know, the story is a lot, you know, because you got to really remember the previous movies. And remember certain characters. Yeah, there's a way to kind of like just like oh, there's a of lot of connections in this one, and it's a good way I get it. They were wrapping everything up and finishing up all these storylines and just you know making it uh, this cohesive uh, franchise of these five films, which oh, I and, get that. And, I appreciate and, uh, that. The intro song, Billie Eilish, the No Time to Die. I liked it. I thought it was. Good. Um, it's not Skyfall. Yes. I don't think anything. I, everything with Skyfall is definitely the top movie of all of them. I think Skyfall is amazing. Well, some people like uh, the other one more. Um, Casino, Casino Royale, it's tough. I I would probably like for me. I put Skyfall more. I'll probably put Skyfall, Skyfall over so it. well done. Skyfall do you, do you is wanna, great. Do you want to like, do like a list? We can do a list. Yeah. 
but first, before we do that, I think Billie Eilish does really good. I like the No Time to Die uh, what song. Was, what was the, the first one? The song from the first one? Uh, it was some like alternative rock song. Remember, yeah. this is 2006. Yeah, it was very yeah. different. Yeah, that was they weird. put like Linkin Park, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that, that was. I never really like, yeah. watched it. I was like, uh, ooh, yeah, the song isn't that great. But again, it's very different times. Skyfall was. Like, I think Skyfall, the way it was shot, the the villain, it, uh, Casino Royale has a good villain too. Mads. Mads Mikkelsen. But I, I got to put Skyfall over it. Skyfall is just so good. Directed by Sam Mendes. You have Roger uh, Deakins. Roger Deakins do, as the DP. Like, just shot so well. I, I would have to put uh, Skyfall, then Casino Royale. Then uh, maybe No Time to Die, then Spectre, then Quantum of Solace. You know, you know what's crazy? People people were putting Quantum over Spectre. I was like, damn, people really don't like Spectre. I well, don't think Spectre was bad, but I don't think it was we that when bad. we watched it, it was kind of like okay. I don't know. Uh, I it was fine. I thought it was good. I, I feel I, like No Time to Die tops it a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah but, man, but to put Quantum of Solace like. Yeah, Quantum of Solace was messy. The villain was awful. He's, he was the the worst villain. Dude, I, I mean, was he even those a villain? scenes of him yelling and fight. Ah, Ah, and he's. I, I was like, "Who is this guy? Is supposed to be a t- like?" And it, he wasn't intimidating how, how, how at all. He looked like that weird uncle, like that weird Theo. You know <laughs> what I mean? That you just didn't like respect at all. Like, <laughs> but, uh, like how, how was Bond struggling on that guy? I, I that yeah. guy was uh, like he just wasn't even intimidating. And yeah. even the actress in it, the other girl that was in it, wasn't yeah. great. Yeah, that movie just wasn't good. That, that that's kind of like where I would rank it, you know. And then uh, as far as the 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 theme music, right? Like, I think Skyfall, then... I'll probably put this one. Maybe No Time to Die, Spectre, Quantum of Solace, and Casino Royale. I don't know what they were, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was like a I don't remember. It was different times, different times. But, yeah. You know, that's kind of like where I would put them. The future, let's see what the future is for Bond right now. Double O. No Time to Die. Uh, Let's see, though. Watch it in IMAX. Watch it in IMAX if you can. It's 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 worth it. And watch it in a the theater. But yeah, guys. So that's that's our thoughts on No Time to Die. Uh, we enjoyed it. You know, some people are not liking it. Some people, you know, at the end of the day, you you just gotta watch it and decide for yourself. Go go support the movie. Support all the movies that are coming out right now. Cause you know what, we want the theaters back up and running. It was nice to see a packed theater. And whether the movie's good or bad, the theater experience beats everything. So I do like what AMC's doing with their new slogan, we make movies better. You saw that? They have that everywhere now. In the app, we make movies. I was like, okay, AMC. AMC to the moon, baby. AMC to the moon. But yeah, you know, but it's true, man. Movie theater experience is great. Whether the movie's good or bad, you, you remember that experience. So we enjoyed it. Go check it out. Support it. Watch it. If you're a Bond fan, I think you'll enjoy it. And yeah, guys, that's that's our take on No Time to Die. Uh, we're we're going to be starting Squid Game. We want to talk about that next. So I'll be tuned for that. And anything else? All right, guys, till the next episode. Thank you for watching. What we got to do for the thumbnail, like a little, uh, I was thinking kind of like a, like this. Oh. Do it. Do it real quick. This is for the thumbnail. For the thumbnail. <laughs> all right. That, that's the thumbnail. And all right, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to us on all of our audio platforms. And to the next one.